for our next news special report. In a world increasingly reliant on technology, a looming threat from the cosmos threatens to plunge us into chaos. As a rare and severe solar storm bears down on Earth, experts warn of potential disruptions to our communications, navigation systems, and power grids. With the last such event occurring nearly two decades ago, are we prepared for the fallout? Join us as we explore the science, the risks, and the potential consequences of this unprecedented space weather event that's happening right now. And just like our reliance on technology, our dependence on electricity leaves us vulnerable to the whims of the universe. As solar storms threaten to disrupt power grids, many Americans are seeking ways to safeguard their homes and slash their energy bills. And that's where this amazing little device comes in designed to reduce wasteful energy consumption, extend appliance lifespan, and ensure a consistent safe flow of electricity. Don't let the cosmos control your power supply. Take charge with a 60-day risk-free trial, 65% off, and free shipping at don'twastepower.com. Prepare for the storm and keep your lights on. Now, the sun is the source of life on Earth. It's also capable of unleashing powerful storms that can wreak havoc on our modern world. As reported by Fox 32 Chicago, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, otherwise known as NOAA, has issued a severe geomagnetic storm watch for Friday, today, into the weekend. The first such alert since 2005. Let's go to that first. I'm Fox 72 Chicago Chief Meteorologist Emily Walls, and we have a different kind of storm watch to tell you about tonight, a severe geomagnetic storm watch. This is the first time this has been issued in nearly 20 years from the National Weather Service's Space Weather Prediction Center. So what does this mean for us? It means we could potentially be in for a really pretty show this upcoming weekend, just in time for Mother's Day weekend. So here's what happened. There was a solar storm that was observed by the Space Weather Prediction Center, and when that happens, you have extra charged particles that are being pushed out into space from the sun and then they make their way to the Earth's poles. And when that happens and it enters into Earth's atmosphere, it begins to interact with our atmosphere. So we have nitrogen and oxygen that these charged particles are beginning to interact with. And that's when we actually start to see the colors of the aurora or the northern lights. So as those charged particles interact with oxygen, that's when we see red and green light. And when they interact with nitrogen, that's when we see pink and blue light. So we could be in for a really pretty show this upcoming weekend as early as Friday night, Friday, May 10th, but we have the uh, opportunity to see the Northern Lights all the way into Sunday here in the Chicagoland area. Unfortunately, we do have some rain in the forecast Friday night, so some clouds are going to be around. We may not be able to see it on Friday, but keep your eyes to the sky Saturday, May 11th, because you could just see the, uh, the Northern Lights. Keep an eye out for it. Now the solar storm caused by at least five coronal mass ejections or CMEs exploding from a massive sunspot on May 8th could disrupt electronic devices like GPS and parts of power grids. CMEs are explosions of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona, which can trigger geomagnetic storms when directed at Earth. First Coast News explains what these solar eruptions could impact infrastructure, communications, and navigations starting as early as noon Eastern today. Watch. All right, tracking severe weather coming in from uh, the panhandle of right now and a much different type of storm heading in from the sun now for the first time in nearly 20 years. NOAA issued a severe geomagnetic storm watch. Huh. So why does this matter to you? Well, uh, historically, these magnetic storm watches cause power outages, even some phone cell outages with towers and things like that. If it's not one thing, it's another. Seriously. Can we just chill out, universe, Gosh. for one minute? I'm trying to get through a Mother's <laughs> Day weekend, for heaven's sakes. Uh, Lauren Routkrantz is uh, tracking everything from the solar system down to, I mean, even down to Lake City. I mean, it's, it's all, we've got it all encompassing right here. Hey, Lauren. Oh, yeah, you give me your address. I'll give you that forecast for you, okay? I like to do Okay, so the NOAA alert warns that the incoming solar storm could potentially disrupt communications, the electric power grid, navigation, radio, and satellite operations. Additionally, it might even wipe out the internet for some as the agency escalated the geomagnetic storm watch from moderate to severe late Thursday. On a more awe-inspiring note, the severe geomagnetic storm could also trigger spectacular displays of aurora potentially visible as far south as Alabama and North Carolina, uh, no Northern California. Excuse me. 
However, the beauty of these natural light displays belies the serious risks associated with such powerful space weather events. The last time a severe geomagnetic storm watch was issued in January 2005, a storm of energetic protons shocked Earth with the highest dose of radiation measured in five decades. While services like the Internet were largely spared then, the increasing dependence on technology in the years since raises concerns about our vulnerability to these solar storms. In 2004, a G5 storm, the highest rating on the scale, caused power outages in Sweden and damaged power transformers in South Africa. This time, officials warned that the United States is likely to be affected by solar flares and CMEs that can damage satellites, disrupt radio waves, and GPS coordinates in overload electrical systems. In extreme cases, a large influx of energy could flow into high-voltage power grids and permanently damage transformers, potentially shutting off businesses and homes around the world. So as we await the arrival of this rare and powerful solar storm, it's crucial to stay informed and prepared for potential disruptions. While the beauty of the auroras may captivate us, we must not underestimate the real-world consequences of severe space weather events in our increasingly tech-reliant society. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. It's time for my final thought. The looming severe solar storm serves as a reminder of the vulnerability in the face of our vulnerability in the face of cosmic forces. As we marvel at the potential for breathtaking auroral displays, we must also confront the, ri confront the risk to our infrastructure and our way of life. This event underscores the urgent need for preparedness and resilience in an age where technology underpins nearly every aspect of our society. Only by understanding and adapting to these challenges can we hope to weather any of the storms ahead. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.